All right, a busy weekend so far in the weather department, uh, and you can just look at the, the cameras there, and there's a lot going on behind you, Joseph. Yeah, we have snow up on the mountain, and we have clouds and some rain here in the Willamette Valley, kind of feeling like a late winter day here as we see temperatures in the 50s, but it's wet. Kind of in between like a winter jacket and a rain jacket, but I think over the next couple of days, temperatures are going to bump up a little bit. You'll probably just need a rain jacket out there. Here's a Lene, Seaside, again, Mount Hood Meadows in Vancouver, all overcast and gloomy for today. We have a pretty active radar. We're expecting that rain as we headed into this afternoon. We'll keep it going as we head into this evening, but there'll be some moments where it's more just pockets of showers other than this, that steady rain that we've had at times, especially after lunchtime today. Here's 515 Portland through Tualatin down to Wilsonville, out extended to Newburgh there, light rain, really not anything heavy right now, but we have more on the way. Uh, we have reinforcements. We're going to see uh, plenty of moisture moving in our direction. You can see the stream right here. In fact, I'll switch it over. This is that atmospheric river that we, we've been discussing starting uh, early this weekend, and it's going to continue to move in our direction as we head into Monday, and that's going to be the wettest day this week. So be prepared for a wet finish to our February. We can use this moisture, though, the only thing it's going to do is it's going to boost our snow levels up a little bit to probably close to about 7,000 feet. So around the passes, it's going to be more rain, which will melt some of that snowfall there. But it does attach to the Pacific Northwest by Monday morning. Expect some heavy rain around here at that point of time. We'll keep it going as we head into Monday afternoon. Notice that stream does kind of dip down to the south more so on Tuesday. So I have rain in the forecast on Tuesday, but I think it's going to be more so the southern Willamette Valley that has that steady rain in the south section of the state of Oregon and more so closer to the border of Washington and Oregon, maybe more a light rain to some on and off shower activity for our Tuesday. We'll keep an eye on that Tuesday. Wednesday, we still have some showers here, but notice that that stream of moisture now bends down to the south and we'll just kind of get what is left over at that point of time. Because of that heavy rain, we have a flood watch here extending into areas of Washington down through Clatsop County into areas of Tillamook County there as we head into the next couple of days. This is for Monday extending into Tuesday. Excessive rainfall, definitely possible. Uh, we may see up to five inches for some locations, which means those rivers are going to rise just a little bit. And some of those low-lying areas that are prone to flooding will likely have some problems too. So far this year, we've had a couple days where we've already had over an inch of rain. We had that atmospheric river earlier in January that brought plenty of rain. We've had a day where we've had over a half an inch of rain, but then we've just had very light rain kind of sprinkled into the month of January and February there. Watch what happens with the forecast rain total as we head into Monday morning. It's projecting and predicting close to about an inch of rain or more here around Portland. So I think we'll probably fall a little shy of that. But by the time we kind of skip through the day tomorrow, I think by late Monday night, we're close to about two inches of rain. And that's when we wrap up the month of February. This weather model actually is projecting about three inches by the time we head into Wednesday. So that's why we're concerned with uh, some flooding issues. We keep it very wet as we go through the week. Uh, on and off rain showers through the week. Temperatures much warmer in the upper 50s. Cooling down to the lower 50s by Friday there, Wayne. But uh, we're going to keep showers in the forecast. Also tomorrow, breezy for the coast and also a little windy here in the Willamette Valley. We may see gusts to 30 miles per hour. Yeah, about to get very interesting. All right, thanks, Joseph. Next.